Publishers page. The power of strategic planning. Publishers. Active Faith Publishers. Contact information. Active Faith Publishers. 11 Equair Road. By Education Bus Stop. Mile 1. Diobu. Port Harcourt. River State. Nigeria. Phone. Plus 234-704-986-7121. Plus 234-902-761-2611. Email. Mailto. Do of freedom at gmail.com. Mailto. Active Faith Church 63 at gmail.com. Book details. Title. The Power of Strategic Planning. Author's name. Pastor Emmanuel Peters C. ISBN. 978-785-462-7867. All right reserved. Copyright notice. No part of this publication may be reproduced, reprinted, or transmitted in any form or by any means, electronic or mechanical, including photocopying, record NG, or any information storage and retrieval system, without permission in writing from the author, Pastor Emmanuel Peters C. Published by Active Faith Publishers. Printed in Nigeria. First edition. 2024. Readers' comments. Professor Benjamin Ndeku offer. Emo State University. I have had the pleasure of reading, The Power of Strategic Planning, and I must say it's a game changer. The book provides a comprehensive and insightful guide to strategic planning, making it an invaluable resource for scholars, practitioners, and anyone looking to make a meaningful impact. The author's expertise shines through on every page. A must-read for anyone serious about achieving success. Professor Madumer Chigbu, Alvin Ikoku University of Education, Oori, Emo State. This book is a master class in strategic planning. The author's ability to break down complex concepts into actionable steps is remarkable. I have already begun applying the principles outlined in this book to my own work and seen significant improvements. I highly recommend, The Power of Strategic Planning, to anyone looking to take their organization or career to the next level. Dr. Francis Karras Odogwu, Abia State University. I was blown away by the depth of knowledge and practical wisdom shared in this book. The Power of Strategic Planning, is more than just a book, it's a toolkit for success. The author's passion for strategic planning is evident on every page, and their expertise is unmatched. This book is a must-read for anyone serious about achieving their goals and making a lasting impact. Rev. Father. Cyprian Uchibong, Paris Priest. As a spiritual leader, I have seen firsthand the impact that strategic planning can have on individuals and organizations. This book is a powerful reminder that with the right tools and mindset, we can achieve greatness. The author's approach is holistic considering not just the practical aspects of strategic planning but also the spiritual and emotional. A truly inspiring read that I highly recommend to anyone seeking to make a positive difference in the world. Table of Contents. Chapter 1. Introduction to Success. Chapter 2. Setting Goals with God's Guidance. Chapter 3. Building a Vision. Chapter 4. The Power of Planning. Chapter 5. Seeking Wisdom. Chapter 6. Creating a Strategic Plan. Chapter 7. Overcoming Obstacles. Chapter 8. Managing Time Wisely. Chapter 9. The Role of Discipline. Chapter 10. Staying Motivated. Chapter 11. The Importance of Accountability. Chapter 12. Financial Stewardship. Chapter 13. Balancing Priorities. Chapter 14. The Power of Prayer. Chapter 15. Embracing Change. Chapter 16. Learning from Failures. Chapter 17. Maintaining Integrity. Chapter 18. The Role of Mentorship. Chapter 19. Building Strong Relationships. Chapter 20. Staying Motivated. Chapter 21. Cultivating Patience in Planning. Chapter 22. Leading with Humility. Chapter 23. Managing Street and Maintaining Balance. Chapter 24. Leveraging Strength and Talents. Chapter 25. Sustaining Success and Continuous Improvement. Introduction. The Power of Strategic Planning. According to George Terry, planning is the process of deciding in advance what should be done, where it should be done, when it should be done, how it should be done and who does it. Planning indeed involves deciding in advance. 1. What should be done, goals and objectives. 2. 
where it should be done, location and resources. 3. When it should be done, timelines and schedules. 4. How it should be done, strategies and tactics. 5. Who will do it, assigning responsibilities and roles. Planning and strategic planning are related but distinct concepts. Planning. Focuses on achieving specific goals and objectives. Involves deciding in advance what, where, when, how, and who. Emphasizes coordination and control. Typically has a shorter time horizon, e.g., monthly, quarterly, annually. Concerned with allocating resources and organizing activities to achieve desired outcomes. Strategic planning. Focuses on achieving long-term organizational success and competitiveness. Involves analyzing internal and external environments, identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. SWOT analysis. Emphasizes innovation, adaptation, and sustainability. Typically has a longer time horizon, e.g., 3 to 5 years, 5 to 10 years. Concerned with setting overall direction, mission, vision, and objectives for the organization. Key differences. Time horizon. Planning is shorter term, while strategic planning is longer term. Focus. Planning focuses on specific goals, while strategic planning focuses on overall organizational success. Scope. Planning is more tactical, while strategic planning is more comprehensive and holistic. To illustrate the difference. Planning. Let's plan a marketing campaign to increase sales by 10% in the next quarter. Strategic planning. Let's develop a strategic plan to become the market leader in our industry within the next three to five years. While planning is essential for achieving specific goals, strategic planning is critical for ensuring the organization's long-term success and competitiveness. Planning is a design process that is essential for achieving success in various areas of human endeavor. It involves setting goals, identifying resources, and determining the best course of action to achieve desired outcomes. Quality building requires a plan. In construction, planning ensures that buildings are safe, functional, and aesthetically pleasing. A well-planned building project considers factors like architecture, engineering, materials, and timelines. Similarly, businesses need adequate planning to succeed. Business planning involves setting clear objectives, analyzing market trends, identifying target audiences, and developing strategies to achieve goals. A well-planned business is better equipped to navigate challenges, capitalize on opportunities, and achieve sustainable growth. Planning is a universal principle that applies to various aspects of life, including 1. Personal development. Setting goals and planning personal growth. 2. Education. Developing curricula and lesson plans. 3. Healthcare. Creating treatment plans and public health strategies. 4. Technology. Designing software and hardware systems. 5. Environmental management. Developing conservation and sustainability plans. In essence, planning is a fundamental design process that helps individuals and organizations achieve their goals and create a better future. God is a master planner. His creation is a testament to his wisdom, foresight, and attention to detail. Here is the examples of creative plan. Creating the river before creating fish. Providing a habitat and ecosystem for them to thrive in. Creating the forest before creating animals. Providing shelter, food, and an environment for them to live in. Creating the garden before creating man. Preparing a beautiful and abundant environment for humanity to inhabit and care for. This shows that God's creation is not just a random act, but a carefully thought out and executed plan, with each element interconnected and interdependent. It's a testament to his love, care, and provision for all of creation. As the Bible says in Psalm 139, 13-14, For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God's master plan is truly awe-inspiring and it's a reminder that we are all part of a larger, divine design. Here's a potential introduction for the book, The Power of Strategic Planning. In today's fast-paced and ever-changing world, organizations and individuals alike are faced with increasingly complex challenges and competing demands. To thrive in this environment, it's no longer enough to simply react to circumstances or rely on short-term fixes. 
Instead, effective planning and strategy are essential for achieving long-term success and realizing one's goals. Strategic planning is the process of intentionally shaping the future by setting clear goals, analyzing opportunities and challenges, and allocating resources to achieve desired outcomes. When done well, it empowers organizations and individuals to navigate uncertainty, drive innovation, and create sustainable value. In The Power of Strategic Planning, we will explore the principles, tools, and best practices of strategic planning, and how they can be applied in various contexts. Through real-world examples, case studies, and expert insights, this book will demonstrate the transformative impact of strategic planning in clarifying purpose and direction, building resilience and adaptability, fostering innovation and growth, enhancing collaboration and engagement, achieving measurable results and impact. Whether you're a business leader, nonprofit professional, or simply looking to amplify your personal impact, this book will equip you with the knowledge, skills, and confidence to harness the power of strategic planning and create a brighter future. Chapter 1 Introduction to Success Success is a multifaceted concept that can be defined in various ways, depending on individual perspectives and contexts. Here's a comprehensive definition. Success is the achievement of desired goals, objectives, or outcomes, which brings a sense of fulfillment, satisfaction, and happiness. It is the realization of one's aspirations, dreams, or vision, which can be personal, professional, or societal. Success can be characterized by 1. Achievement. Accomplishing what one sets out to do. 2. Progress. Moving forward, growing, and improving. 3. Fulfillment. Feeling content, satisfied, and happy. 4. Impact. Making a positive difference in the lives of others or in the world. 5. Legacy. Leaving a lasting influence or heritage. 6. Personal growth. Developing new skills knowledge, and self-awareness. 7. Recognition. Receiving acknowledgement or appreciation from others. 8. Financial security. Achieving stability and comfort. 9. Work-life balance. Harmonizing professional and personal life. 10. Purpose. Aligning with one's values, passions, and long-term vision. Ultimately, success is a subjective and dynamic concept and its definition may evolve over time as individuals grow, learn, and adapt. Success can be achieved in various areas across different careers. Here are some examples. 1. Professional success. Advancement in job roles or promotions. Industry recognition or awards. Publication or presentation of research papers. Patents or innovation awards. 2. Financial success. Salary increases or bonuses financial stability or security, entrepreneurial success, e.g., successful business launch, investments or wealth growth. 3. Creative success, artistic achievements, e.g., exhibitions, performances, literary success, e.g., publications, awards, musical success, e.g., albums, concerts, design or innovation awards. 4. Leadership success, executive or management role, team leadership or mentoring, industry influence or thought leadership, public speaking or presentation success 5. Personal success, work-life balance, health and wellness achievements, personal growth or self-improvement, relationships or family success. 6. Educational success, academic achievements e.g., degrees, certifications, research or thesis success, teaching or mentoring success, educational leadership roles. 7. Community success. Volunteer or community service recognition. Social impact or activism achievements. Community leadership roles. Environmental or sustainability success. 8. Innovative success. Developing new products or services. Process improvements or efficiency gains. Technological advancements or breakthroughs. Entrepreneurial innovation. 9. Collaborative success. Successful teamwork or partnerships cross-functional collaboration achievements, building or leading high-performing teams networking or mentorship success. 10. Legacy success. Leaving a lasting impact or legacy, industry or community recognition, lifetime achievements or awards, inspiring others or paying it forward. These areas are not mutually exclusive, 
and success in one area can often lead to success in others. Here are some reasons why we need God's direction in all our success endeavors. 1. Divine Guidance God's direction provides wisdom and guidance beyond human understanding, ensuring we make decisions aligned with His plan. 2. Purpose and Meaning God's direction helps us understand our purpose and significance, giving our successes eternal value. 3. Strength and Courage With God's direction, we receive the strength and courage to overcome obstacles and stay focused on our goals. 4. Humility and Accountability Recognizing our dependence on God's direction keeps us humble and accountable, preventing pride and complacency. 5. Wisdom and Discernment God's direction grants us wisdom to discern opportunities, avoid pitfalls, and make choices that honor Him. 6. Fulfillment and Joy Following God's direction leads to a deeper sense of fulfillment and joy, as we align with His will. 7. Long-term Impact God's direction considers eternity, ensuring our successes have a lasting impact beyond our lifetime. 8. Protection and Provision With God's direction, we can trust in His protection and provision, even in uncertain times. 9. Glory to God. By seeking God's direction, we acknowledge His sovereignty and give Him glory in our successes. 10. Peace and Confidence. Following God's direction brings peace and confidence, knowing we're in His will. Remember, success is not just about achieving goals but also about honoring God in the process. Seeking His direction ensures our successes align with His purposes and bring eternal value. Biblical Perspective on Success Success, in the biblical sense, goes beyond material prosperity or achievements. It encompasses living a life that honors God, aligns with His purposes, and reflects His character. Let's explore key scriptures that shed light on prosperity, fulfillment, and purpose. 1. Joshua 1. 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Success comes from meditating on God's word and obeying his commands. 1. Matthew 6:33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Prioritize seeking God's kingdom and righteousness and He will provide what you need. 1. Psalm 1, 1 1-3. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. Delighting in God's law and meditating on it leads to spiritual growth and fruitfulness. 1. Proverbs 10:27 The fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. Living in reverence for God leads to a long and fulfilling life. 1. Jeremiah 29:11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God has good plans for our lives, and we can trust in his sovereignty. 1. Philippians 4:13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Our strength comes from Christ, enabling us to accomplish what he calls us to Colossians 3:23-24. Whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Our work should be done with excellence and as an act of worship to God. In conclusion, biblical success involves Meditating on God's word and obeying his commands, Joshua 1, 8. Seeking God's kingdom and righteousness, Matthew 6, 33. Delighting in God's law and meditating on it, Psalm 1, 1 to 3. Living in reverence for God, Proverbs 10, 27. Trusting in God's sovereignty and plans, Jeremiah 29, 11. Drawing strength from Christ, Philippians 4, 13. Working with excellence and as an act of worship, Colossians 3.23-24. May this biblical perspective on success guide you in your journey. Personal Reflection As I consider the biblical perspective on success, I am challenged to reflect on my own definitions and measures of success. I realize that I often get caught up in the world's standards of success, focusing on achievements and accomplishments that bring recognition and praise. 
But God's word reminds me that true success is about living a life that honors him, obeying his commands, and serving others with love. I am encouraged to re-evaluate my priorities and align them with God's will. Questions to consider. What defines success for me? Am I living a life that prioritizes obedience to God's will? How can I serve others with love and humility? What changes can I make to align my life with God's purposes? Reflection Action Steps 1. Take time to pray and ask God to reveal His definition of success for your life. 2. Identify areas where you may be prioritizing worldly standards of success over God's will. 3. Make a conscious effort to obey God's commands and live a life of service and love. 4. Journal your thoughts and insights, and consider sharing them with a trusted friend or mentor for accountability. Remember, true success is not about achieving greatness in the eyes of the world, but about living a life that honors God and reflects His love and character. May we strive to redefine success on God's terms. Let's explore how personal values and planning influence one's pursuit of success. Personal values. 1. Authenticity. Being true to oneself and living aligned with core values and beliefs. 2. Integrity. Demonstrating consistency between words, actions, and values. 3. Respect. Valuing others' dignity, time, and contributions. 4. Excellence. Striving for quality and continuous improvement. 5. Compassion. Showing empathy and kindness towards others. 6. Responsibility. Embracing accountability for actions and outcomes. 7. Creativity. Embracing innovation and new ideas. 8. Perseverance. Persisting through challenges and setbacks. Planning. 1. Goal setting. Establishing clear, measurable objectives. 2. Prioritization. Focusing on tasks that align with values and goals. 3. Time management. Optimizing schedules to maximize productivity. 4. Resource allocation. Allocating resources effectively to support goals. 5. Risk assessment. Identifying and mitigating potential obstacles. 6. Contingency planning. Preparing for unexpected events. 7. Review and adjustment. Regularly evaluating progress and adapting plans. When personal values and planning intersect. 1. Purpose-driven goals. Objectives align with core values and beliefs. 2. Intentional prioritization. Focus on tasks that honor personal values. 3. Values-based decision-making. Choices align with core principles. 4. Authentic leadership. Leading with integrity, respect, and compassion. 5. Responsible risk-taking. Embracing innovation while considering potential consequences. 6. Adaptive resilience. Embracing change and persevering through challenges. 7. Continuous growth. Embracing learning and self-improvement. By integrating personal values and planning, individuals can create a powerful framework for pursuing success that honors their beliefs, prioritizes what matters most, and fosters intentional growth. Let's dive deeper into the importance of intentional planning and spiritual alignment in achieving true success. Intentional planning. 1. Clarity. Defines clear goals and objectives. 2. Focus. Prioritizes efforts and resources. 3. Efficiency. Maximizes productivity and minimizes waste. 4. Accountability. Establishes a plan to track progress. 5. Adaptability. Allows for adjustments as circumstances change. Spiritual alignment. 1. Purpose. Connects goals to a higher purpose. 2. Values. Ensures goals align with core values. 3. Guidance. Seeks divine guidance and wisdom. 4. Humility. Recognizes the role of faith and surrender. 5. Gratitude. Cultivates a heart of thankfulness. When intentional planning and spiritual alignment intersect. 1. Divine direction. Goals and plans align with God's will. 2. Purpose-driven. Efforts are fueled by a sense of purpose. 3. Values-based. Decisions honor core values and principles. 4. Faith-filled. Plans are bathed in prayer and faith. 5. Grateful heart. Success is met with humility and gratitude. 6. Fulfillment. True success brings a sense of fulfillment and joy. 7. Legacy. Impact extends beyond personal achievements. 8. Eternal perspective. Success is viewed in light of eternity.
By integrating intentional planning and spiritual alignment, individuals can create a powerful framework for achieving true success that honors God and brings fulfillment and joy. Conclusion The chapter concludes by affirming that true success is holistic, encompassing spiritual, emotional, and physical well-being, and is achieved through a harmonious relationship with God and purposeful living. Chapter 2 Setting Goals with God's Guidance A goal is a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, objective that an individual or organization strives to accomplish. Goals are the desired outcomes or results that one wants to attain through effort and planning. In the context of success, goals serve as a roadmap, guiding individuals towards achieving their desired outcomes. Well-defined goals help to 1. Clarify focus and direction. 2. Prioritize efforts and resources. 3. Motivate and inspire action. 4. Measure progress and success. 5. Adjust and adapt plans as needed. Effective goals should be 1. Specific. Clearly define what you want to achieve. 2. Measurable. Quantify your goal to track progress. 3. Achievable. Ensure your goal is realistic and attainable. 4. Relevant. Align your goal with your values and priorities. 5. Time bound. Set a specific deadline or time frame. Examples of goals. Career goals. Get promoted to a management position within two years. Financial goals. Save $10,000 for a down payment on a house within 12 months. Personal goals. Run a marathon within six months. Educational goals. Earn a master's degree within three years. By setting and working towards goals, individuals can create a sense of purpose, direction, and accomplishment, ultimately leading to success. Goal setting is the process of identifying, clarifying, and writing down specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, objectives that an individual or organization wants to accomplish. It involves creating a clear roadmap for achieving desired outcomes and tracking progress along the way. Effective goal setting involves 1. Identifying. Recognizing areas for improvement or opportunities for growth. 2. Clarifying. Defining specific, measurable, and achievable objectives. 3. Writing down. Documenting goals to create a clear and tangible plan. 4. Making smart. Ensuring goals meet the SMART criteria. 5. Prioritizing. Focusing on the most important goals first. 6. Breaking down. Dividing large goals into smaller, manageable tasks. 7. Creating an action plan. Outlining steps to achieve goals. 8. Tracking progress. Regularly monitoring and evaluating progress. 9. Adjusting. Making changes to goals or plans as needed. Goal setting helps individuals and organizations. 1. Clarify focus and direction. 2. Increase motivation and commitment. 3. Enhance accountability and tracking. 4. Improve decision-making and resource allocation. 5. Boost confidence and self-esteem. 6. Celebrate successes and learn from setbacks. By setting and working towards goals, individuals and organizations can create a sense of purpose, direction, and accomplishment, ultimately leading to success. Setting goals involves several steps that help you create a clear roadmap for achieving your desired outcomes. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to set goals. 1. Identify your objectives. Start by identifying what you want to achieve. What are your aspirations, desires, or priorities? Be specific and make sure your objectives are aligned with your values. 2. Make your goals smart. Ensure your goals meet the SMART criteria. Specific. Clearly define what you want to achieve. Measurable. Quantify your goal to track progress. Achievable. Ensure your goal is realistic and attainable. Relevant. Align your goal with your values and priorities. Time bound. Set a specific deadline or time frame. 3. Write down your goals. Document your goals to create a clear and tangible plan. Write them in the present tense, as if you've already achieved them. 4. Prioritize your goals. Focus on the most important goals first. Use the Eisenhower matrix to categorize your goals into urgent versus important and focus on the most critical ones. 5. Break down big goals into smaller ones. Divide large goals into smaller, manageable tasks. 
create a hierarchy of goals, with smaller goals feeding into larger ones. 6. Create an action plan. Outline the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. Identify the resources, support, and potential obstacles you may face. 7. Track your progress. Regularly monitor and evaluate your progress. Use a journal, spreadsheet, or goal tracking app to stay on track. 8. Stay accountable. Share your goals with a friend or mentor and ask them to hold you accountable. Celebrate your successes and learn from your setbacks. 9. Adjust and adapt. Be flexible and willing to adjust your goals as circumstances change. Don't be too hard on yourself if you encounter setbacks. Instead, learn from them and move forward. Remember, goal setting is a continuous process. Regularly review and refine your goals to ensure they align with your changing needs and priorities. Goal setting is important because it 1. Clarifies focus and direction. Goals give you a clear sense of purpose and direction. 2. Boosts motivation and commitment. Writing down goals increases motivation and commitment to achieving them. 3. Enhances accountability and tracking. Goals provide a clear benchmark to track progress and stay accountable. 4. Improves decision-making and resource allocation. Goals help prioritize decisions and allocate resources effectively. 5. Increases self-confidence and self-esteem. Achieving goals builds confidence and self-esteem. 6. Encourages personal growth and development. Goals promote learning, skill building, and personal growth. 7. Fosters resilience and perseverance. Working towards goals develops resilience and perseverance. 8. Enhances creativity and innovation. Goals encourage creative solutions and innovative thinking. 9. Supports work-life balance. Goals help prioritize and balance personal and professional life. 10. Increases sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. Achieving goals brings a sense of pride and fulfillment. 11. Provides a sense of purpose and meaning. Goals give life meaning and direction. 12. Helps overcome procrastination and distractions. Goals help stay focused and avoid procrastination. 13. Encourages positive habits and routines. Goals promote healthy habits and routines. 14. Supports teamwork and collaboration. Shared goals foster teamwork and collaboration. 15. Increases productivity and efficiency. Goals optimize time and resources. By setting and working towards goals, individuals can create a sense of purpose, direction, and accomplishment, leading to a more fulfilling and successful life. Clear goals provide direction and motivation in several ways. Direction. 1. Clarity of purpose. Clear goals define what you want to achieve giving you a sense of purpose. 2. Focus. Goals help you prioritize and concentrate on what's truly important. 3. Guidance. Goals serve as a guide, directing your efforts and decisions. 4. Decision making. Clear goals inform decision making, ensuring choices align with your objectives. Motivation. 1. Inspiration. Clear goals inspire and motivate, providing a sense of excitement and challenge. 2. Directional motivation. Goals give you a sense of direction, motivating you to take action. 3. Measurable progress. Clear goals allow you to track progress, motivating you to continue working towards them. 4. Sense of accomplishment. Achieving goals gives you a sense of accomplishment, boosting motivation and confidence. 5. Accountability. Clear goals hold you accountable, motivating you to stay on track. Six. Intrinsic motivation. Clear goals tap into your intrinsic motivation, driving you to achieve personal satisfaction. 7. Extrinsic motivation. Clear goals can also provide extrinsic motivation, such as recognition or rewards. Short-term goals and long-term goals differ in their time frame, focus, and purpose. Short-term goals. 1. Time frame. Typically less than one year, often immediate or near future. 2. Focus. Concentrate on immediate needs, pressing issues, or quick wins. 3. Purpose. Address current challenges, build momentum, or lay groundwork for future success. 4. Characteristics. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. 5. Examples. Complete a project within the next three months.
Increase sales by 10% within the next six months. Learn a new skill or tool within the next year. Long-term goals. 1. Time frame. Typically more than one year, often three to five years or more. 2. Focus. Emphasize sustained growth, development, and long-term impact. 3. Purpose. Envision and shape the future, driving significant progress and transformation. 4. Characteristics. Strategic, visionary, and often more broad and aspirational. 5. Examples. Develop a new product line within the next 3 to 5 years. Expand into new markets or geographies within the next 5 to 10 years. Become a recognized industry leader or expert within the next decade. Short-term goals are the stepping stones to achieving long-term goals. By accomplishing short-term objectives, you build momentum and create a foundation for long-term success. Seeking divine direction is a vital aspect of Christian living. Here are some methods for seeking God's guidance through. 1. Prayer. Talk to God, sharing your thoughts, desires, and concerns. Listen for His gentle whisper. 2. Meditation. Quiet your mind, focus on scripture, and reflect on God's character and promises. 3. Scripture study. Read, analyze, and apply biblical truths to your life. Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. ESV. Committing plans to the Lord. 1. Acknowledge God's sovereignty. Recognize His authority over all aspects of life. 2. Seek His guidance. Ask for wisdom and direction in your decision making. 3. Submit your plans. Lay your plans before God, seeking His approval and blessing. 4. Trust in His providence. Have faith that God is working everything out for your good, Romans 8:28. 5. Be obedient. Follow God's leading, even when it's challenging or uncertain. Seeking divine direction is a continuous process. By committing your plans to the Lord and seeking His guidance, you can trust that He will establish your steps and lead you in His perfect will. Aligning goals with purpose involves identifying your personal gifts, talents, and passions as indicators of God's purpose. Here are some points to consider. 1. Gifts. Spiritual gifts, skills, and abilities that God has given you to serve others and build up the body of Christ, Romans 12, 6-8, 1 Corinthians 12, 4-11. 2. Talents. Natural abilities and skills that you have developed or acquired, Matthew 25, 14-30. 3. Passions. Things that you are enthusiastic about, enjoy doing, and find fulfilling, Psalm 37, 4. 4. Purpose. The reason why God has put you on this earth, your divine calling, Jeremiah 29, 11, Ephesians 2, 10. 5. Alignment. When your goals and actions align with your gifts, talents, passions, and purpose, you experience fulfillment, joy, and fruitfulness, John 15, 16. 6. Indicators of God's purpose. Sense of joy and fulfillment. Fruitfulness and effectiveness. Open doors and opportunities. Confirmation from others. Peace and confidence. 7. Seeking God's guidance. Prayer, meditation, and seeking wise counsel to discern God's purpose and align your goals accordingly. Proverbs 16. 3. James 1. 5. By aligning your goals with your gifts, talents, passions, and purpose, you can experience a sense of direction, fulfillment, and fruitfulness in your life, and ultimately, bring glory to God. Writing down goals and creating vision statements are powerful tools for clarifying and achieving your desires. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Writing down goals. 1. Make it specific. Clearly define what you want to achieve. 2. Make it measurable. Quantify your goal so progress can be tracked. 3. Make it achievable. Ensure your goal is realistic and attainable. Four. Make it relevant. Align your goal with your values and purpose. 5. Make it time-bound. Set a specific deadline or time frame. Creating vision statements. 1. Define your purpose. Identify your core values and reason for existence. 2. Envision your future. Imagine your ideal future state. 3. Make it concise. Distill your vision into a brief statement. 4. Make it inspiring. Use language that motivates and encourages. 5. Make it focused. Ensure your vision statement is clear and easy to understand. 
Examples. Goal. I want to improve my physical health. Specific. I will lose 10 pounds in the next 3 months. Measurable. I will track my progress through weekly weight checks. Achievable. I will exercise for 30 minutes, 3 times a week. Relevant. This goal aligns with my value of prioritizing health and wellness. Time bound. I will achieve this goal within the next 3 months. Vision statement. Empowered by faith, I envision a life of purpose, living a healthy and balanced lifestyle, inspiring others through my actions and words, and making a meaningful impact in my community. Writing down goals and creating vision statements helps clarify your desires, focuses your efforts, and inspires you to achieve your aspirations. Overcoming doubts and fears is a crucial step in setting and pursuing goals. Here are some common obstacles and strategies to overcome them. 1. Fear of failure. Reframe failure as a learning opportunity. Break goals into smaller, manageable steps. Focus on progress, not perfection. 2. Self-doubt. Identify and challenge negative self-talk. Celebrate small wins and accomplishments. Surround yourself with supportive people. 3. Procrastination. Break goals into smaller, actionable steps. Set deadlines and create a schedule. Use the Pomodoro technique, work 25 minutes, rest 5 minutes. 4. Perfectionism. Recognize that perfection is unattainable. Set realistic standards and expectations. Focus on progress, not perfection. 5. Fear of the unknown. Educate yourself and gather information. Break goals into smaller, manageable steps. Focus on the present moment, not the unknown future. 6. Lack of motivation. Identify your why and connect with your purpose. Celebrate small wins and accomplishments. Find accountability and support. 7. Distractions and excuses. Identify and eliminate distractions. Create a conducive environment for goal pursuit. Use the 2-minute rule. If it takes less than 2 minutes, do it immediately. Overcoming doubts and fears takes time, patience, and self-compassion. Be gentle with yourself, and don't give up on your goals. Trusting in God's provision and timing for your set goals is essential. Here are some biblical principles to encourage you. 1. Providence. God is your provider, Genesis 22:14. Trust Him to supply your needs as you work towards your goals. 2. Sovereignty. God is in control, Psalm 135, 6. Rest in His sovereignty knowing he orchestrates circumstances to achieve his purposes. 3. Timing. God's timing is perfect, Ecclesiastes 3. 1. Wait patiently, knowing he will fulfill his plans in his timing. 4. Faithfulness. God is faithful, Psalm 37, 3-4. Trust in his faithfulness to guide and support you. 5. Peace. God gives peace, Philippians 4, 6-7. Seek peace in his presence knowing he has everything under control. 6. Rest. Rest in God's goodness and love, Psalm 23, 1-4. Trust that he is working everything out for your good. 7. Obedience. Obey God's leading, John 14, 21. Trust that he will bless your efforts as you follow his guidance. 8. Gratitude. Give thanks, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Express gratitude for God's provision and blessings. 9. Perseverance. Persevere in faith, Hebrews 11, 6. Trust God's promises and press on, even in challenging times. 10. Worship. Worship God, Psalm 95, 6-7. Praise Him for His goodness, love, and faithfulness. Trusting God's provision and timing requires patience, faith, and surrender. As you trust in Him, He will guide and support you in achieving your goals according to His perfect will. Conclusion. In conclusion, goal setting is a powerful tool for achieving success and realizing your aspirations. By setting clear, specific, and aligned goals, you can clarify your focus and direction, boost motivation and commitment, enhance accountability and tracking, increase self-confidence and self-esteem, foster personal growth and development, improve decision-making and resource allocation, overcome obstacles and stay motivated. Remember to trust in God's provision and timing. Seek his guidance and wisdom. Align your goals with his purposes. Be patient and persevering.
celebrate small wins and progress, stay flexible and adapt to changes. By integrating faith and goal setting, you can experience a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Embrace the journey, trust in God's plan, and watch your goals become a reality. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5-6 May God bless and guide you as you set and pursue your goals. Chapter 3 Building a Vision A vision in planning is a clear and concise statement that defines what you want to achieve or accomplish in the future. It's a statement that articulates your aspirations, goals, and objectives. A vision statement. 1. Defines the desired future state. 2. Inspires and motivates. 3. Provides direction and focus. 4. Guides decision-making and resource allocation. 5. Unites and aligns teams and stakeholders. 6. Creates a sense of purpose and meaning. A good vision statement should be. 1. Clear and concise. 2. Memorable and engaging. 3. Relevant and meaningful. 4. Challenging yet achievable. 5. Aligns with your values and purpose. Examples of vision statements. To become the market leader in our industry by 2025. To create a world-class education system that empowers students to succeed. To develop innovative solutions that improve people's lives and make the world a better place. Having a clear vision statement helps you stay focused, motivated, and directed towards achieving your goals. It serves as a guiding light for your planning, decision-making, and actions. Creating a vision involves reflecting on your values, goals, and aspirations. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you create a vision. 1. Reflect on your values. Identify what matters most to you, your organization, or team. 2. Assess your current situation. Understand your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. 3. Imagine your ideal future. Envision what you want to achieve or become. 4. Identify your goals. Determine specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound objectives. 5. Craft your vision statement. Use your values, goals, and ideal future to create a concise and inspiring statement. 6. Make it memorable. Use simple language and a clear structure to ensure your vision statement is easy to remember. 7. Share and align. Communicate your vision to others and ensure everyone is aligned and working towards the same goals. Some questions to consider when creating a vision. What do I want to achieve? What kind of impact do I want to make? What values do I want to uphold? What kind of person or organization do I want to become? What are my long-term goals? Your vision should be inspiring, motivating, and guiding. Take your time, and don't be afraid to revise and refine your vision as you grow and learn. Habakkuk 2. 2 says, Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. ESV. This verse emphasizes the importance of 1. Writing down your vision. Clarify and document your vision to ensure clarity and focus. 2. Making it plain. Use simple, clear language to convey your vision, avoiding ambiguity. 3. Making it accessible. Share your vision with others, ensuring everyone understands and can work towards it. Components of a strong vision. 1. Clear, easy to understand and concise. 2. Specific, well-defined and precise. 3. Measurable, quantifiable progress and success. 4. Achievable, realistic and attainable. 5. Relevant, aligns with your values, purpose, and goals. 6. Time-bound, defines a specific timeline or framework. 7. Inspiring, motivates and encourages others to work towards it. 8. Flexible, adaptable to changing circumstances. 9. Aligned, consistent with your values, purpose, and goals. 10. Communicated, effectively shared with all stakeholders. A strong vision, provides direction and focus, inspires and motivates. Guides decision-making and resource allocation. Unites and aligns teams and stakeholders. Helps achieve goals and success. A clear and well-defined vision is essential for achieving your goals and making a meaningful impact. Clarity and purpose are essential components of creating a powerful vision. Here's why. Clarity. 
Clear vision statements are easy to understand and remember. Clarity helps focus efforts and resources on what's truly important. Clear vision statements inspire and motivate others to take action. Clarity eliminates confusion and ambiguity. Purpose-driven. Purpose is the reason behind your vision. Purpose-driven visions are meaningful and impactful. Purpose inspires passion and commitment. Purpose-driven visions create a sense of direction and guidance. Benefits of clarity and purpose. Increased focus and direction. Improved decision-making and resource allocation. Enhanced inspiration and motivation. Greater sense of purpose and meaning. Increased impact and effectiveness. To achieve clarity and purpose in your vision. Define your core values and principles. Identify your passions and strengths. Determine your long-term goals and aspirations. Craft a clear and concise vision statement. Ensure your vision aligns with your purpose and values. A clear and purpose-driven vision is the foundation for achieving your goals and making a meaningful impact. Take the time to craft a vision that inspires and motivates you to reach your full potential. Visualizing success is a powerful technique to internalize your vision and manifest your goals. Here are some techniques to help you visualize success. 1. Visualization. Close your eyes and vividly imagine yourself achieving your goals. Use all your senses to bring the vision to life. 2. Affirmations. Repeat positive statements to yourself, such as, I am capable and confident in achieving my goals. 3. Vision boards. Create a visual representation of your goals using images, words, and symbols. Place it in a prominent spot to remind yourself of your vision. 4. Mind mapping. Create a visual map of your goals, ideas, and actions. This helps to organize your thoughts and focus on your vision. 5. Creative expression. Use art, music, or writing to express your vision and emotions. 6. Gratitude practice. Focus on what you're already grateful for, and visualize yourself achieving more. 7. Meditation. Use guided meditation or quiet reflection to connect with your inner self and visualize success. 8. Journaling. Write down your thoughts, feelings, and insights about your vision and progress. 9. Positive self-talk. Encourage yourself with positive affirmations and supportive self-talk. 10. Celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate your progress along the way to stay motivated and focused on your vision. Visualizing success is not just about seeing the end result but also about enjoying the journey and learning from the process. By using these techniques, you'll be able to internalize your vision and make meaningful progress towards achieving your goals. Living out the vision requires translating it into daily actions and decisions. Here are some steps to help you do so. 1. Break down the vision into smaller goals. Create actionable steps to achieve your vision. 2. Create an action plan. Identify specific tasks, timelines, and resources needed. 3. Prioritize daily actions. Focus on tasks that align with your vision and goals. 4. Make intentional decisions. Align your decisions with your vision and goals. 5. Review and adjust regularly. Revisit your vision and goals regularly to track progress and refine them as needed. 6. Stay accountable. Share your vision and progress with a trusted friend or mentor for support and accountability. 7. Embrace growth and learning. Be open to new experiences, knowledge, and skills to help you grow and refine your vision. 8. Celebrate milestones. Acknowledge and celebrate your progress along the way. 9. Stay flexible. Be willing to adjust your approach as circumstances change. 10. Keep the vision visible. Display your vision statement prominently to remind yourself of your goals. Living out your vision is a continuous process that requires effort, commitment, and patience. By following these steps, you'll be able to translate your vision into daily actions and decisions, leading to purposeful growth and progress. Conclusion. In conclusion, building a vision is a powerful process that helps you create a clear and compelling direction for your life, organization, or team. By reflecting on your values, assessing your current situation, imagining your ideal future, identifying your goals, and crafting a concise and inspiring vision statement, you can clarify your purpose and direction, inspire and motivate yourself and others, guide decision-making and resource allocation, unite and align teams and stakeholders.
create a sense of purpose and meaning. Remember, a vision is not just a statement. It's a guiding light that illuminates your path and helps you achieve your aspirations. By building a vision, you can envision a better future, focus on what matters most, overcome obstacles and stay motivated, make a meaningful impact, leave a lasting legacy. So, take the time to build a vision that reflects your values, goals, and aspirations. Share it with others, and work together to make it a reality. With a clear and compelling vision, you can achieve great things and make a lasting impact. Chapter 4 The Power of Planning According to George Terry, planning is defined as Planning is the process of sitting down to decide in advance what should be done, when it should be done, where it should be done, and who should do it. This definition introduces the WWW concept, which stands for W. What, what should be done. W. When, when it should be done. W. Where, where it should be done. W. Who, who should do it. In essence, planning involves answering these four critical questions to create a clear roadmap for achieving goals and objectives. By considering the what, when, where, and who, individuals and organizations can develop a comprehensive plan that ensures effective execution and success. Here's a rewritten version with a more polished tone. Planning is a design process that lays the foundation for success. Just as a house of worth requires proper planning and architecture, businesses too need a well-designed plan to thrive. A strong plan serves as the blueprint for achievement, guiding actions and decisions towards a desired outcome. In the same way that a skilled architect carefully crafts a building's design, considering every detail and element, Effective planning in business involves deliberate consideration of every aspect, from goals and objectives to resources and timelines. By recognizing planning as a design process, individuals and organizations can create a solid foundation for growth, stability, and success. Just as a well-designed house stands the test of time, a well-planned business can weather any storm and achieve its full potential. Planning is essential for success in various aspects of life, including business, personal growth, and goal achievement. Here are some importance of planning. 1. Clarity and focus. Planning helps define goals, objectives, and priorities, giving you clarity and focus. 2. Efficient resource allocation. Planning ensures optimal use of resources, such as time, money, and personnel. 3. Risk management. Planning identifies potential risks and develops mitigation strategies. Four. Increased productivity. Planning streamlines processes, reducing waste and improving productivity. 5. Better decision making. Planning provides a framework for informed decision making. 6. Improved time management. Planning enables effective scheduling and time management. 7. Enhanced collaboration. Planning facilitates teamwork and collaboration by setting shared goals and objectives. 8. Adaptability. Planning allows for flexibility and adaptability in response to changing circumstances. 9. Accountability. Planning promotes accountability by setting standards and tracking progress. 10. Reduced stress. Planning helps manage stress by breaking tasks into manageable steps. 11. Improved quality. Planning ensures quality control and attention to detail. 12. Competitive advantage. Planning helps businesses stay ahead of competitors. 13. Personal growth. Planning facilitates personal growth by setting goals and tracking progress. 14. Financial management. Planning enables effective financial management and budgeting. 15. Achieving goals. Planning is essential for achieving goals and realizing your vision. By recognizing the importance of planning, you can unlock your full potential and achieve success in various areas of your life. Planning is a vital aspect of achieving success in various areas of life, and it provides numerous benefits that help individuals and organizations reach their goals. One of the primary reasons planning matters is that it provides structure and reduces uncertainty. When you plan, you create a clear roadmap of what needs to be done, by when, and how. This structure helps you stay focused, prioritize tasks, and allocate resources effectively. By doing so, you reduce the uncertainty that often comes with new endeavors or challenging situations. As Proverbs 21.5 states, the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, 
but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. This verse highlights the rewards of diligent planning, which include clarity of purpose, efficient use of resources, increased productivity, better decision making, reduced stress, improved adaptability, achieving goals. By planning diligently, you can create a clear path forward, make informed decisions, and take deliberate actions that lead to success. In contrast, hasty decisions and a lack of planning often result in confusion, waste, and missed opportunities. In addition to providing structure and reducing uncertainty, planning also helps you. Set realistic goals and expectations. Identify potential risks and develop mitigation strategies. Develop contingency plans for unexpected events. Improve communication and collaboration with others. Enhance your problem-solving and critical thinking skills. In conclusion, planning is essential for achieving success and reducing uncertainty. By being diligent in your planning, you can create a clear roadmap, make informed decisions, and take deliberate actions that lead to abundance and prosperity. Remember, planning matters, and it is a crucial step towards achieving your goals and realizing your vision. Effective planning involves several key elements that help individuals and organizations achieve their goals and objectives. Here are some of the essential elements of effective planning. 1. Clear objectives. Setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, objectives that align with your overall vision and mission. 2. Milestones. Identifying key milestones and benchmarks to track progress and stay on course. 3. Resource allocation. Allocating resources, such as time, money, personnel, and materials, effectively to support your objectives and milestones. 4. Time management. Creating a schedule and timeline to ensure tasks are completed on time and in a logical order. 5. Prioritization. Prioritizing tasks and objectives based on importance and urgency. 6. Flexibility. Building in flexibility to adapt to changing circumstances and unexpected obstacles. 7. Accountability. Establishing clear roles and responsibilities and holding individuals accountable for their tasks and outcomes. 8. Contingency planning. Identifying potential risks and developing contingency plans to mitigate them. 9. Review and evaluation. Regularly reviewing and evaluating progress to ensure you're on track and making adjustments as needed. 10. Communication. Ensuring effective communication among all stakeholders to keep everyone informed and aligned. By incorporating these elements into your planning process, you'll be well on your way to achieving your goals and objectives. Remember to stay flexible and adapt to changing circumstances, and always keep your end goals in mind. Here's a breakdown of the types of plans and tools, techniques. Types of plans. 1. Strategic plans. Long-term, big-picture strategies that outline overall goals and objectives. E.g., 3-5 year business plan. 2. Tactical plans. Short-term, specific actions that support strategic plans. E.g., quarterly marketing campaign. 3. Operational plans. Day-to-day -day procedures and routines that ensure efficient operations. E.g., employee handbook, standard operating procedures. Tools and techniques. 1. Planners. Written or digital tools for organizing and scheduling tasks, appointments, and goals. E.g., daily planner, bullet journal. 2. Calendars. Visual tools for displaying schedules, deadlines, and important dates. E.g., Google Calendar, Wall Calendar. 3. Project management tools. Software and apps for managing specific projects, tasks, and teams e.g., Asana, Trello, Basecamp. 4. Mind mapping. Visual technique for brainstorming, organizing, and connecting ideas. 5. SWOT analysis. Framework for identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. 6. Gantt charts. Visual representation of tasks, timelines, and dependencies. 7. Kanban boards. Visual tool for managing workflows, tracking progress, and identifying bottlenecks. These types of plans and tools, techniques help individuals and organizations create a structured approach to achieving their goals and objectives. By utilizing these resources effectively, 
you can enhance productivity, efficiency, and success. Balancing planning and flexibility is a crucial aspect of achieving success and navigating life's uncertainties. Here are some key points to consider. Planning. Prepare for the future by setting goals and making plans. Create a roadmap to achieve your objectives. Establish a sense of direction and focus. Flexibility. Be open to change and willing to adjust plans as needed. Stay alert to new information, opportunities, and challenges. Adapt and pivot when circumstances shift or unexpected obstacles arise. Trusting in God's sovereignty. Recognize that God is in control, even when plans change or don't work out as expected. Trust that he has a bigger plan and purpose, even if it's not immediately clear. Find peace and confidence in his sovereignty, rather than relying solely on your own plans and control. Planning and flexibility are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they complement each other. By planning, you can prepare for the future, but by also being flexible, you can adapt to the unexpected twists and turns that life brings. And when you trust in God's sovereignty, you can have confidence that he is working everything out for your good, even when plans change or don't work out as expected. As the Bible says in Proverbs 19:21, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. May you find balance in planning and flexibility, and trust in God's sovereignty as you navigate life's journey. Conclusion. In conclusion, the power of planning is a transformative force that can elevate individuals and organizations to achieve their goals and realize their visions. By embracing a planning mindset, we can clarify our objectives and priorities, focus our efforts and resources, anticipate and adapt to challenges, make informed decisions and take deliberate actions, measure progress and celebrate successes, trust in God's sovereignty and provision. Effective planning is not merely a tool for achieving success, it is a catalyst for personal growth, learning, and improvement. By harnessing the power of planning, we can build confidence and resilience, develop a solutions-oriented mindset, foster collaboration and teamwork, enhance our problem-solving and critical thinking skills, cultivate a sense of purpose and direction. As we journey through life, planning serves as a beacon, illuminating our path and guiding us toward our destinies. By embracing the power of planning, we can unlock our full potential, achieve our dreams, and make a meaningful impact in the world. Remember, planning is not just about preparing for the future, it is about creating the future we desire. So, let us plan with purpose, passion, and faith, and watch as our lives and endeavors flourish. Chapter 5 Seeking Wisdom Wisdom is the ability to discern and apply universal principles and values that foster personal growth, well-being, and the greater good. It involves intuition, insight, and discernment, and is often acquired through experience, reflection, and learning from others. Wisdom encompasses various aspects, including 1. Life experience, gained through personal experiences, challenges, and successes. 2. Intuition the ability to acquire knowledge or insight without conscious reasoning. 3. Discernment. The capacity to distinguish between right and wrong, good and bad, and appropriate and inappropriate. 4. Emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, empathy, and social skills. 5. Spiritual awareness. Connection to something greater than oneself, such as a higher power or the universe. 6. Critical thinking. Objective analysis and evaluation of information and situations. 7. Humility. Recognition of one's limitations and willingness to learn from others. 8. Compassion. Empathy and kindness towards oneself and others. 9. Mindfulness. Present moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance. 10. Personal values. Principles and beliefs that guide decision-making and behavior. Wisdom is not merely knowledge or intelligence. It's the application of universal principles and values that promote personal growth, well-being, and the greater good. James 1, 5 states, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Wisdom, according to this verse, is a gift from God, available to those who ask, given generously and without judgment, distinct from knowledge. The differences between wisdom and knowledge are knowledge, information or data, 
Facts and figures. Intellectual understanding. Can be acquired through learning and study. Wisdom. Application of knowledge. Discernment and insight. Right judgment and decision making. Consideration of context and consequences. Spiritual and moral perspective. Key differences. Knowledge is about knowing, while wisdom is about applying. Knowledge is intellectual, while wisdom is spiritual and moral. Knowledge can be acquired, while wisdom is a gift from God. In essence, knowledge provides the facts, while wisdom helps us understand how to use those facts in a way that honors God and benefits others. Types of wisdom. Here's a breakdown of the types of wisdom you mentioned. 1. Academic wisdom. Knowledge acquired through education, research, and scholarship. It's the wisdom that comes from studying and learning from experts in a particular field. 2. Intellectual wisdom. The ability to think critically, analyze information, and make informed decisions. It's the wisdom that comes from using your mind to reason and evaluate. 3. Diabolic wisdom. This term is not commonly used, but it could refer to wisdom that is misguided, evil, or malevolent. It's the wisdom that comes from a place of darkness, manipulation, or deceit. 4. Wisdom from God. Divine wisdom that comes from a higher power, faith, or spiritual practices. It's the wisdom that transcends human understanding and is guided by spiritual principles and values. Additionally, there are other types of wisdom, such as 1. Practical wisdom. Wisdom gained through experience, intuition, and common sense. 2. Emotional wisdom. Wisdom related to emotional intelligence, empathy, and social skills. 3. Spiritual wisdom. Wisdom that comes from a deep understanding of the mysteries of life, the universe, and human nature. 4. Philosophical wisdom. Wisdom that comes from exploring fundamental questions about existence, reality, and knowledge. 5. Cultural wisdom. Wisdom that is rooted in tradition, heritage, and community values. 6. Intuitive wisdom. Wisdom that comes from instinct, hunches, and gut feelings. Each type of wisdom has its unique characteristics, and they can complement or overlap with one another. The wisdom of God supersedes academic, common sense, and diabolic wisdom in several ways. 1. Transcendence. God's wisdom transcends human understanding and limitations. It's not bound by human intellect or reasoning, Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. 2. Spiritual insight. God's wisdom provides spiritual insight and discernment, allowing us to see beyond the physical realm, 1 Corinthians 2 10 minus 12. 3. Morality and ethics. God's wisdom is rooted in his character and provides a moral compass, unlike diabolic wisdom which is based on selfishness and deceit, Proverbs 9 10. 4. Eternal perspective. God's wisdom considers eternity, whereas academic and common sense wisdom focus on temporal gains, 2 Corinthians 4 18. 5. Redemption and restoration. God's wisdom brings redemption and restoration, while diabolic wisdom leads to destruction, Proverbs 14 12. 6. Humility and dependence. God's wisdom requires humility and dependence on him. Whereas academic and common sense wisdom can lead to pride and self-sufficiency, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. 7. Transformative power. God's wisdom has the power to transform lives, whereas academic and common sense wisdom may only provide intellectual understanding, 2 Corinthians 3 18. 8. Unchanging principles. God's wisdom is based on unchanging principles and promises, Whereas academic and common sense wisdom may be subject to change and uncertainty, Hebrews 13, 8. The wisdom of God surpasses academic, common sense, and diabolic wisdom in its transcendence, spiritual insight, morality, eternal perspective, redemptive power, humility, transformative power, and unchanging principles. Here are some sources of wisdom and practices for gaining wisdom. Sources of wisdom. 1. Divine wisdom. Gained through prayer, scripture, and communion with God. 2. Life experiences. Learning from personal successes and failures. 3. Counsel from others. Seeking advice from mentors, peers, and experts. 4. Observation. Learning from others' experiences and the world around us. 5. Reflection. Introspection and self-examination. 6. 
study, reading, learning, and exploring new ideas and perspectives. Practices for gaining wisdom. 1. Meditation. Quiet reflection and contemplation. 2. Journaling. Writing down thoughts, insights, and lessons learned. 3. Prayer. Seeking guidance and wisdom from a higher power. 4. Seeking feedback. Asking for constructive criticism and advice from others. 5. Learning from failure. Embracing mistakes and using them as opportunities for growth. 6. Self-reflection. Regularly examining your thoughts, feelings, and actions. 7. Reading. Expanding your knowledge and perspectives through books and articles. 8. Seeking mentorship. Finding wise guides and role models. 9. Practicing mindfulness. Being present and fully engaged in the current moment. 10. Embracing humility. Recognizing your limitations and being open to learning from others. Wisdom is a lifelong journey, and it requires effort, patience, and dedication to cultivate. By embracing these sources and practices, you can continue to grow in wisdom and become the best version of yourself. Applying wisdom in decision-making involves evaluating choices through the lens of ethical and moral principles, considering long-term consequences, and prioritizing the greater good. Here are some key aspects to consider. 1. Ethical and moral principles. Align your decisions with universal principles such as honesty, integrity, fairness, and respect for all individuals. 2. Long-term consequences. Think beyond immediate benefits and consider the potential long-term effects of your choices on yourself and others. 3. Greater good. Prioritize decisions that benefit not only yourself but also the community, society, and the environment. 4. Critical thinking. Objectively evaluate information, analyze potential outcomes, and avoid impulsive decisions. 5. Emotional intelligence. Recognize and manage your emotions to ensure they don't cloud your judgment. 6. Humility. Acknowledge your limitations and be open to seeking advice from others. 7. Compassion. Consider the impact of your decisions on vulnerable populations and strive to minimize harm. 8. Accountability. Take responsibility for your choices and be willing to adapt or adjust course if needed. 9. Mindfulness. Stay present and focused on the current situation, avoiding distractions and biases. 10. Reflection. Regularly review your decisions and learn from your experiences to improve future decision-making. By incorporating these aspects into your decision-making process, you can cultivate wisdom and make choices that lead to positive outcomes for yourself and others. Remember, wisdom is a continuous journey, and every decision is an opportunity to grow and learn. How to demonstrate humility and openness to learning, and to make informed and prudent decisions even under pressure. Demonstrating humility and openness to learning. 1. Listen actively. Pay attention to others' perspectives and ideas. 2. Ask questions. Seek clarification and guidance from others. 3. Admit when you don't know. Be willing to say, I don't know, and seek help. 4. Learn from mistakes. Reflect on errors and use them as opportunities for growth. 5. Seek feedback. Ask for constructive criticism and use it to improve. Making informed and prudent decisions. 1. Gather relevant information. Collect data and facts before making a decision. 2. Weigh options carefully. Consider multiple perspectives and potential outcomes. 3. Consider long-term effects. Think about the potential impact of your decision on the future. 4. Seek advice from others. Consult with experts or trusted individuals. 5. Take time to reflect. Don't rush into a decision. Take time to think critically. Making decisions under pressure. 1. Stay calm and composed. Manage your stress levels to think clearly. 2. Focus on the key issue. Identify the core problem and prioritize it. 3. Break it down. Divide complex problems into smaller manageable parts. 4. Establish a timeline. Set deadlines and prioritize tasks. 5. Communicate clearly. Keep others informed and involved in the decision-making process. By following these guidelines, you can demonstrate humility and openness to learning, and make informed and prudent decisions even in high-pressure situations. Remember, decision-making is a skill that improves with practice and patience.
Conclusion. In conclusion, seeking wisdom is a noble and lifelong pursuit that requires humility, openness, and a willingness to learn. Through prayer, scripture, and communion with God, we can gain divine wisdom that guides us in our decisions and actions. Life experiences, counsel from others, and reflection on our mistakes and successes also provide valuable wisdom. Additionally, practices like meditation, journaling, and seeking feedback from others can help us cultivate wisdom. As we seek wisdom, we must remember to evaluate our choices through the lens of ethical and moral principles, consider long-term consequences, and prioritize the greater good. By doing so, we can make informed and prudent decisions that align with our values and promote personal growth. May we embrace the journey of seeking wisdom with reverence, humility, and a willingness to learn, knowing that it is a path that leads to a more fulfilling and purpose-driven life. As the Bible says in Proverbs 4, 7, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Chapter 6 Creating a Strategic Plan Strategic planning is the process of defining an organization's mission, vision, objectives, and strategies to achieve them. It involves analyzing internal and external factors, identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWOT analysis, and setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, SMART goals. Strategic planning typically involves 1. Defining the organization's purpose, values, and mission. 2. Conducting a situational analysis, SWOT analysis, market research, etc. 3. Identifying long-term goals and objectives. 4. Developing strategies to achieve those goals. 5. Allocating resources, human, financial, etc., to support the strategies. 6. Establishing performance metrics and monitoring progress. 7. Reviewing and updating the plan regularly. Strategic planning helps organizations. 1. Clarify their purpose and direction. 2. Focus resources on key priorities. 3. Adapt to changing environments and trends. 4. Make informed decisions. 5. Measure progress and stay accountable. 6. Align teams and stakeholders towards common goals. Strategic planning can be applied to various contexts, including businesses, nonprofits, governments, and individuals. It's a powerful tool for achieving success and creating a better future. The difference between strategic planning and other forms of planning. Strategic planning differs from other forms of planning in several ways. 1. Time frame. Strategic planning focuses on long-term goals, 3 to 5 years or more, while other forms of planning, like operational planning, focus on shorter time frames daily, weekly, or monthly. 2. Scope. Strategic planning encompasses the entire organization, considering overall mission, vision, and objectives. Other forms of planning, like tactical planning, focus on specific departments or functions. 3. Purpose. Strategic planning aims to define the organization's purpose, identity, and overall direction. Other forms of planning, like contingency planning, focus on preparing for specific scenarios or threats. 4. Level of abstraction. Strategic planning involves higher-level thinking, considering broad industry trends, market analysis, and long-term implications. Other forms of planning, like project planning, focus on concrete tasks and timelines. 5. Decision-making. Strategic planning involves making strategic decisions about resource allocation, prioritization, and trade-offs. Other forms of planning, like operational planning, focus on executing established plans. 6. Flexibility. Strategic planning is adaptive and flexible, acknowledging that the organization's environment and circumstances may change. Other forms of planning, like crisis planning, focus on responding to specific, immediate situations. 7. Participation. Strategic planning often involves a broader range of stakeholders, including top-level leadership, employees, customers, and partners. Other forms of planning, like departmental planning, may involve only specific teams or individuals. 8. Output. Strategic planning produces a comprehensive strategic plan, while other forms of planning generate more focused documents, like project plans, 
marketing plans, or contingency plans. Strategic planning provides the framework for other forms of planning, ensuring everyone is working towards common long-term goals. What is the significance of strategic planning in achieving long-term goals? Strategic planning is essential for achieving long-term goals because it 1. Clarifies purpose and direction. Defines the organization's mission, vision, and objectives, ensuring everyone is aligned and working towards the same goals. 2. Enhances focus. Identifies key priorities and allocates resources accordingly, minimizing distractions and ensuring efficient use of resources. 3. Fosters adaptability. Encourages flexibility and responsiveness to changing environments, trends, and customer needs. 4. Promotes proactive decision-making. Encourages anticipation and preparation for future challenges and opportunities. 5. Improves resource allocation. Ensures optimal use of resources, human, financial, etc., to achieve strategic objectives. 6. Encourages collaboration. Facilitates cross-functional teamwork and communication, ensuring a cohesive approach to achieving goals. 7. Provides a framework for evaluation. Establishes metrics and benchmarks to measure progress and stay accountable. 8. Supports sustainability. Helps organizations navigate long-term challenges and opportunities, ensuring continued success and relevance. 9. Enhances competitiveness. Enables organizations to stay ahead of competitors by anticipating and responding to market shifts. 10. Boosts confidence and motivation. Provides a clear sense of direction, inspiring stakeholders and fostering a culture of achievement. By engaging in strategic planning, organizations can create a roadmap for achieving their long-term goals, ensuring a cohesive, proactive, and successful approach to navigating the future. What are the steps to develop strategic planning? Here are the steps to develop strategic planning. 1. Define the organization's mission, vision, and values. Establish a clear purpose, direction, and guiding principles. 2. Conduct a situational analysis. Assess internal strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWOT analysis. 3. Identify long-term goals and objectives. Set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, targets. 4. Analyze industry trends and market research. Understand the competitive landscape and customer needs. 5. Develop strategic options. Generate and evaluate potential strategies to achieve goals. 6. Select and prioritize strategies. Choose the most effective and feasible options. 7. Create an action plan. Outline tasks, timelines, and resource allocation. 8. Establish performance metrics and monitoring. Define key performance indicators, KPIs, and tracking processes. 9. Communicate and engage stakeholders. Share the plan and involve relevant parties. 10. Review and update the plan. Regularly assess progress and adapt the plan as needed. Additionally, consider the following best practices. Involve a diverse team in the planning process. Use data-driven insights to inform decisions. Consider multiple scenarios and contingency planning. Ensure alignment with the organization's overall purpose and values. Foster a culture of continuous learning and improvement. By following these steps and best practices, you can develop a comprehensive strategic plan that drives long-term success. Resource allocation is a crucial step in the strategic planning process. It involves identifying and organizing the necessary resources to achieve the goals and objectives outlined in the plan. Here are some key aspects of resource allocation. 1. Time. Identifying the time required to complete tasks and achieve objectives. 2. Finances. Determining the budget and financial resources needed to support the plan. 3. Support networks. Identifying the people, organizations, and partnerships necessary to achieve the goals. 4. Human resources. Identifying the skills, expertise, and personnel needed to execute the plan. 5. Technology and infrastructure. Identifying the systems, tools, and infrastructure needed to support the plan. 6. Materials and supplies. Identifying the resources and materials needed to execute the plan. Effective resource allocation involves 1. Prioritization. 
prioritizing resources based on the importance and urgency of tasks and objectives. 2. Efficient use of resources. Ensuring that resources are used efficiently and effectively. 3. Resource leveling. Ensuring that resources are allocated evenly and consistently throughout the planning period. 4. Contingency planning. Identifying potential risks and developing contingency plans to address them. 5. Monitoring and adjustment. Continuously monitoring resource allocation and making adjustments as needed. By carefully allocating resources, organizations can ensure that they have the necessary support to achieve their goals and objectives. Here are some common pitfalls to overcome in the strategic planning process. 1. Lack of clarity. Ensure clear goals, objectives, and strategies to avoid confusion. 2. Poor communication. Communicate effectively with stakeholders to avoid misunderstandings. 3. Inadequate resources. Ensure sufficient resources, time, finances, etc. to execute the plan. 4. Ineffective implementation. Establish a clear plan for implementation and monitoring progress. 5. Lack of flexibility. Remain adaptable and open to adjustments as circumstances change. 6. Unrealistic expectations. Set achievable goals and milestones to avoid disappointment. 7. Insufficient stakeholder engagement. Engage stakeholders throughout the process to ensure support and buy-in. 8. Failure to monitor progress. Regularly review and assess progress to stay on track. 9. Lack of accountability. Establish clear responsibilities and accountabilities to ensure execution. 10. Inadequate contingency planning. Prepare for potential risks and obstacles. By recognizing and overcoming these common pitfalls, you can ensure a successful strategic planning process that honors God and achieves your goals. Additionally, continuously seeking God's guidance throughout the process can provide wisdom, clarity, and peace. Here are some ways to do so. 1. Prayer. Regularly pray for guidance and wisdom. 2. Scripture. Seek guidance from Scripture and apply biblical principles. 3. Reflection. Take time to reflect on God's leading and guidance. 4. Worship. Worship and seek God's presence throughout the process. 5. Fasting. Consider fasting for clarity and guidance. 6. Seeking counsel. Seek advice from spiritual leaders or mentors. By integrating your faith and seeking God's guidance, you can create a strategic plan that aligns with His will and purposes. Conclusion. Creating a strategic plan is a vital process that helps organizations achieve their goals and objectives. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you can develop a comprehensive strategic plan that honors God and aligns with your organization's purpose and values. Remember, a strategic plan is not a static document, but a dynamic tool that should be regularly reviewed and updated to reflect changing circumstances and opportunities. As you seek to create a strategic plan, continuously seek God's guidance and wisdom, and trust in His sovereignty and provision. By doing so, you can Clarify your organization's purpose and direction. Focus resources on key priorities. Enhance collaboration and teamwork. Improve decision-making and resource allocation. Increase effectiveness and efficiency. Fulfill your organization's mission and purpose. 4. Learn from failures. Analyze past experiences. Identify areas for improvement. And adapt strategies accordingly. 5. Cultivate self-awareness. Understand your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, and recognize how they impact your resilience. 6. Build a support network. Surround yourself with encouraging people who can offer help and guidance. 7. Practice self-care. Take care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. 8. Develop problem-solving skills. Learn to approach challenges with a logical and methodical mindset. 9. Stay flexible. Be open to change and willing to adjust your approach as needed. 10. Celebrate successes. Acknowledge and celebrate your achievements to reinforce positive self-talk and motivation. Resilience is not a fixed trait. It can be developed and strengthened over time with practice, patience, and persistence. By cultivating a positive and persevering mindset, you can better navigate challenges and achieve your goals. Problem-solving techniques are essential for approaching obstacles in a systematic and effective way. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. 1. 
define the problem, clearly articulate the issue, identify key factors, and understand the impact. 2. Brainstorm solutions. Generate a wide range of potential solutions, without judging their feasibility. 3. Evaluate options. Assess each solution's pros and cons, considering factors like resources, time, and potential outcomes. 4. Implement. Choose the best solution and create a plan for implementation. 5. Review. Monitor progress, assess the outcome, and adjust the solution as needed. Additionally, don't forget to seek counsel, consult with others, including experts, mentors, and peers, to gain new insights and perspectives. Seek support. Surround yourself with a supportive network, including friends, family, and colleagues, to help you stay motivated and accountable. Stay flexible. Be open to adjusting your approach as needed, and be willing to pivot if a solution isn't working. Learn from failure. Use failures and setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow, and don't be afraid to try again. By following this systematic approach and seeking counsel and support from others, you'll be well equipped to tackle obstacles and find effective solutions. Remember, problem solving is a skill that can be developed with practice, patience, and persistence. Maintaining faith and trust is essential for navigating life's challenges with confidence and hope. Here are some ways to cultivate faith and trust. 1. Rely on prayer. Communicate with God through prayer, sharing your thoughts, feelings, and concerns. 2. Seek scripture. Find comfort and guidance in God's word, applying its truths to your life. 3. Embrace patience. Trust in God's timing, knowing that his plans are perfect and his timing is impeccable. 4. Trust in provision. Have faith that God will provide for your needs, even in uncertain circumstances. 5. Cultivate gratitude. Focus on the blessings in your life, expressing thanks and praise to God. 6. Surround yourself with support. Build relationships with encouraging believers who can offer support and strength. 7. Reflect on God's faithfulness. Remember how God has worked in your life and the lives of others, building trust in his consistent care. 8. Seek spiritual guidance. Consult with spiritual leaders or mentors for wisdom and guidance. 9. Practice worship. Regularly worship God through music, prayer, and other expressions of faith. 10. Stay grounded in faith. Continuously nurture your faith through study, prayer, and fellowship, ensuring a strong foundation for life's challenges. By embracing these practices, you'll be able to maintain faith and trust in God, even in the midst of uncertainty and adversity. Remember, faith is a journey, and trust is a muscle that grows stronger with exercise. Turning obstacles into opportunities is a powerful mindset shift that can help you navigate challenges with confidence and resilience. Here are some strategies to help you view challenges as catalysts for innovation and personal development. 1. Reframe challenges. See obstacles as opportunities for growth, learning, and improvement. 2. Embrace innovation. View challenges as chances to think creatively and develop new solutions. 3. Celebrate small victories. Acknowledge and celebrate progress, no matter how small, to stay motivated and encouraged. 4. Focus on progress. Emphasize the steps forward, even if slow or incremental, to maintain momentum. 5. Learn from setbacks. Analyze failures and setbacks to gain valuable insights and adjust your approach. 6. Develop resilience. Cultivate coping skills and perseverance to navigate difficulties with confidence. 7. Seek support. Surround yourself with encouraging people who can offer guidance and encouragement. 8. Practice gratitude. Focus on the blessings and positives in your life, even amidst challenges. 9. Embrace personal growth. View challenges as opportunities for self-improvement and character development. 10. Stay positive. Maintain a hopeful and optimistic outlook, knowing that challenges can lead to greater success and fulfillment. By adopting this mindset, you'll be able to turn obstacles into opportunities, celebrating small victories and progress along the way. Remember, challenges are a natural part of growth and success. Embrace them, and you'll emerge stronger and more resilient. Conclusion In conclusion, overcoming obstacles is a fundamental part of personal and professional growth. 
It requires a combination of resilience, determination, and strategic thinking. By understanding the nature of obstacles, cultivating a positive mindset, and employing effective problem-solving techniques, we can transform challenges into opportunities for success. Remember, obstacles are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to achievement. They test our resolve, foster innovation, and help us develop the skills and strength needed to reach our full potential. As we face obstacles, let us embrace them with courage, adaptability, and faith. Let us draw on our inner resources, seek support from others, and trust in our ability to overcome. For every obstacle is an opportunity to grow, learn, and rise above. And when we emerge victorious, we are stronger, wiser, and more resilient, ready to face the next challenge that comes our way. So let us not be deterred by obstacles, but rather empowered by them. Let us turn them into catalysts for success, and transform our lives and the lives of those around us. In the words of Maya Angelou, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Let us rise above obstacles and reach new heights of triumph and fulfillment. Chapter 7 Overcoming Obstacles The phrase, obstacle to proper planning, refers to any factor, condition, or circumstance that hinders, blocks, or disrupts the effective development, implementation, or execution of a plan. These obstacles can prevent individuals or organizations from achieving their goals, objectives, or desired outcomes. Common examples of obstacles to proper planning include 1. Lack of clear goals or objectives. 2. Insufficient resources, time, money, personnel, etc. 3. Poor communication or collaboration. 4. Inadequate information or data. 5. Unrealistic expectations or timelines. 6. Ineffective leadership or management. 7. Resistance to change or new ideas. 8. External factors, market changes, economic conditions, etc. 9. Internal conflicts or politics. 10. Inadequate risk assessment or contingency planning. These obstacles can lead to delays, inefficiencies, ineffective use of resources, poor decision making, failure to achieve desired outcomes. By identifying and addressing these obstacles, individuals and organizations can develop more effective plans, achieve their goals, and succeed in their endeavors. Here's how these obstacles can hinder proper planning and some tips on how to overcome them. Fear hinders planning by causing analysis paralysis, leading to avoidance of planning altogether. Overcome by breaking down goals into smaller steps, seeking support and encouragement, focusing on positive outcomes. Doubt hinders planning by undermining confidence in plans, leading to indecision. Overcome by seeking advice from experts, conducting thorough research, focusing on past successes. Procrastination hinders planning by delaying planning, leading to lost opportunities and rushed decisions. Overcome by setting clear deadlines, breaking tasks into smaller steps, using time management tools. Resource limitation hinders planning by restricting options, requiring compromise on goals. Overcome by prioritizing goals, seeking alternative resources, collaborating with others. Unexpected events hinders planning by disrupting plans, requiring adjustments. Overcome by building contingency plans, staying flexible, adapting to changes. Opposition hinders planning by creating obstacles, discouraging progress. Overcome by building support networks, addressing concerns, finding alternative solutions. To plan better, consider setting clear goals and deadlines, breaking tasks into smaller steps, seeking support and resources, embracing flexibility and adaptability, focusing on positive outcomes and past successes, prioritizing and compromising when necessary, building contingency plans and adapting to changes. By recognizing and addressing these common obstacles, you can create more effective plans and achieve your goals. Let's explore 1 Corinthians 10:13 and the biblical perspective on challenges. 1 Corinthians 10:13 Niv no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind and God is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear but when you are tempted 
he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. This verse reminds us that 1. Challenges are common to humanity, we are not alone in facing trials. 2. God is faithful, he is reliable and trustworthy in the midst of our struggles. 3. God provides a way out, he gives us the strength and resources to overcome temptations and trials. 4. We can endure, with God's help, we can navigate and emerge stronger from our challenges. In the context of planning and overcoming obstacles, this verse encourages us to 1. Trust in God's sovereignty and provision. 2. Seek his guidance and wisdom in the face of challenges. 3. Be confident in his faithfulness and ability to provide a way out. 4. Persevere and endure, knowing that he is with us. Additional biblical principles to keep in mind. 1. Romans 8:28, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. 2. Philippians 4:13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. 3. Isaiah 40, 31, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not faint. May these scriptures inspire and equip you to face challenges with courage, faith, and confidence in God's faithfulness. Understanding trials as opportunities for growth and strengthening faith. Trials and challenges can be difficult to navigate but they can also be opportunities for growth and strengthening our faith. Here are some ways to view trials through this lens. 1. Refining our faith. Trials can test and refine our faith, making it stronger and more resilient. 2. Building character. Challenges can help us develop important qualities like perseverance, patience, and humility. 3. Deepening our relationship with God. Trials can drive us to seek God more intensely leading to a deeper and more personal relationship with him. 4. Learning and growth. We can gain valuable insights and lessons from our trials, helping us grow and mature as individuals. 5. Developing empathy and compassion. Going through challenges can give us a deeper understanding and appreciation for others who may be facing similar struggles. 6. Witnessing God's faithfulness. Trials can provide opportunities to see God's faithfulness and provision in our lives strengthening our trust and confidence in him. 7. Sharing our story. Our experiences and testimonies can be a powerful witness to others, pointing them to God's love and grace. Trials are not necessarily a punishment or a sign of God's displeasure. Instead, they can be a catalyst for growth, a chance to trust God more deeply, and an opportunity to experience his faithfulness and love. As the Bible says in James 1, 2-4, consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Developing resilience. Cultivating a positive and preserving mindset. Developing resilience is essential for navigating challenges and achieving success. Here are some strategies for cultivating a positive and persevering mindset. 1. Practice optimism. Focus on the positive aspects of a situation and maintain a hopeful outlook. 2. Reframe challenges. View obstacles as opportunities for growth and learning. 3. Develop a growth mindset. Embrace challenges and persist through difficulties, knowing that abilities can be developed. 4. Learn from failures. Analyze past experiences, identify areas for improvement, and adapt strategies accordingly. 5. Cultivate self-awareness. Understand your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, and recognize how they impact your resilience. 6. Build a support network. Surround yourself with encouraging people who can offer help and guidance. 7. Practice self-care. Take care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. 8. Develop problem-solving skills. Learn to approach challenges with a logical and methodical mindset. 9. Stay flexible. Be open to change and willing to adjust your approach as needed. 10. Celebrate successes. Acknowledge and celebrate your achievements to reinforce positive self-talk and motivation. Resilience is not a fixed trait. It can be developed and strengthened over time with practice, patience, and persistence. By cultivating a positive and persevering mindset, you can better navigate challenges and achieve your goals. 
Problem-solving techniques are essential for approaching obstacles in a systematic and effective way. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. 1. Define the problem. Clearly articulate the issue, identify key factors, and understand the impact. 2. Brainstorm solutions. Generate a wide range of potential solutions, without judging their feasibility. 3. Evaluate options. Assess each solution's pros and cons, considering factors like resources, time, and potential outcomes. 4. Implement. Choose the best solution and create a plan for implementation. 5. Review. Monitor progress, assess the outcome, and adjust the solution as needed. Additionally, don't forget to seek counsel, consult with others, including experts, mentors, and peers, to gain new insights and perspectives. Seek support. Surround yourself with a supportive network, including friends, family, and colleagues, to help you stay motivated and accountable. Stay flexible. Be open to adjusting your approach as needed, and be willing to pivot if a solution isn't working. Learn from failure. Use failures and setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow, and don't be afraid to try again. By following this systematic approach and seeking counsel and support from others, you'll be well equipped to tackle obstacles and find effective solutions. Remember, problem solving is a skill that can be developed with practice, patience, and persistence. Maintaining faith and trust is essential for navigating life's challenges with confidence and hope. Here are some ways to cultivate faith and trust. 1. Rely on prayer. Communicate with God through prayer, sharing your thoughts, feelings, and concerns. 2. Seek scripture. Find comfort and guidance in God's word, applying its truths to your life. 3. Embrace patience. Trust in God's timing, knowing that his plans are perfect and his timing is impeccable. 4. Trust in provision. Have faith that God will provide for your needs, even in uncertain circumstances. 5. Cultivate gratitude. Focus on the blessings in your life, expressing thanks and praise to God. 6. Surround yourself with support. Build relationships with encouraging believers who can offer support and strength. 7. Reflect on God's faithfulness. Remember how God has worked in your life and the lives of others, building trust in his consistent care. 8. Seek spiritual guidance. Consult with spiritual leaders or mentors for wisdom and guidance. 9. Practice worship. Regularly worship God through music, prayer, and other expressions of faith. 10. Stay grounded in faith. Continuously nurture your faith through study, prayer, and fellowship, ensuring a strong foundation for life's challenges. By embracing these practices, you'll be able to maintain faith and trust in God, even in the midst of uncertainty and adversity. Remember, faith is a journey, and trust is a muscle that grows stronger with exercise. Turning obstacles into opportunities is a powerful mindset shift that can help you navigate challenges with confidence and resilience. Here are some strategies to help you view challenges as catalysts for innovation and personal development. 1. Reframe challenges. See obstacles as opportunities for growth, learning, and improvement. 2. Embrace innovation. View challenges as chances to think creatively and develop new solutions. 3. Celebrate small victories. Acknowledge and celebrate progress, no matter how small, to stay motivated and encouraged. 4. Focus on progress. Emphasize the steps forward, even if slow or incremental, to maintain momentum. 5. Learn from setbacks. Analyze failures and setbacks to gain valuable insights and adjust your approach. 6. Develop resilience. Cultivate coping skills and perseverance to navigate difficulties with confidence. 7. Seek support. Surround yourself with encouraging people who can offer guidance and encouragement. 8. Practice gratitude. Focus on the blessings and positives in your life, even amidst challenges. 9. Embrace personal growth. View challenges as opportunities for self-improvement and character development. 10. Stay positive. Maintain a hopeful and optimistic outlook, knowing that challenges can lead to greater success and fulfillment. By adopting this mindset, you'll be able to turn obstacles into opportunities, celebrating small victories and progress along the way. Remember, challenges are a natural part of growth and success. Embrace them, 
and you'll emerge stronger and more resilient. Conclusion. In conclusion, overcoming obstacles is a fundamental part of personal and professional growth. It requires a combination of resilience, determination, and strategic thinking. By understanding the nature of obstacles, cultivating a positive mindset, and employing effective problem-solving techniques, we can transform challenges into opportunities for success. Remember, obstacles are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to achievement. They test our resolve, foster innovation, and help us develop the skills and strength needed to reach our full potential. As we face obstacles, let us embrace them with courage, adaptability, and faith. Let us draw on our inner resources, seek support from others, and trust in our ability to overcome. For every obstacle is an opportunity to grow, learn, and rise above. And when we emerge victorious, we are stronger, wiser, and more resilient, ready to face the next challenge that comes our way. So let us not be deterred by obstacles, but rather empowered by them. Let us turn them into catalysts for success, and transform our lives and the lives of those around us. In the words of Maya Angelou, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Let us rise above obstacles and reach new heights of triumph and fulfillment. Thanks for listening. The book Power of Strategic Planning contains 25 chapters. To get all the contents visit our e-store to purchase. https colon slash slash seller dot co slash 26475h. To buy all our ebook visit our e-store at https colon slash slash seller dot co slash m slash knowledge dash center one. You can also get the to e-store at the description page of our YouTube right here. Once again thanks for listening. Feel free to comment on how the book have helped you. If there are questions feel free to ask.